Hey guys, KZ Guy 2 here, No Nonsense Know How. Today, working on a 2006 VW Passat with a 2.0 liter turbocharged FSI motor. This uh, vehicle has 125,000 miles on it, and I just want to document some findings and uh, show you what we're dealing with here. So, the two codes this thing has is a P2293, which is a code for your fuel pressure regulator performance and a P0087, which is fuel rail pressure too low. All right, so <clears throat> now this customer actually ran this, this car low on oil, which I already knew, so this was a pretty easy diagnosis. These are very common for the cam followers to go bad on a high pressure fuel pump. Uh, when that happens, you need a new intake cam. As you can see, it's all scored up in there. You need a new pump <clears throat> and a cam follower. So kind of a big job, but uh, here's what you're gonna do to check that, and I'll show you the tools you need. Start by taking off your top cover here. You got one electric connection on the mass air flow meter and these two clamps here. To get this off, you just kind of pry back on this a little bit and it pops right off. Easy peasy. And then just pull up on that cover. You got four grommets that go onto these towers right here. They do tend to rip a lot. Uh, when you're putting it back on, make sure to lubricate those. Then, I don't know if you need to, but I got this hose out of my way. Uh, you just squeeze down on these and pop those off. They tend to break sometimes too, so watch out there. And then the hard part to getting this pump off is gonna be your fuel connections on the bottom. This nut's a 17 millimeter. That's easy enough. Um, and be very careful when you're taking these high pressure lines off. Have your safety glasses on, wear some gloves in case there's any uh, you know, high fuel pressure in there. <clears throat> so don't be uh, hurting yourself. Uh, when you take these off, good idea to put a cap on them too so you don't get any dirt and debris in there. Then the other one is going to be a bolt that comes on from the bottom looks like this and you're going to need an M8 triple square to get that one. Uh, that is kind of tough to get to so I used uh, this, this tool with a uh, 13 millimeter wrench. I also took this piece off right here that mounts on, mounts on the front right here to get a little bit more access. Those bolts were T20s. Now the, the bolts holding the pump on are going to be T30s. Three of them, they look like that. And so if you have those lines off on the bottom, you can go ahead and slide this pump out and then boom. So looks like uh, it completely chewed through the cam follower. And so you got metal debris down the engine now. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame to see at 125,000 miles. So this guy's gonna need a cam, a pump, a follower, and a bunch of labor to get that done. So, um, you know, if you have these codes, there could be other issues, but I mean, my recommendation is if you have the codes, I could actually hear this pump was making a little bit of noise up here too. Put a stethoscope up here, right, right here and listen. You know, um, it's pretty easy to check this first before going into all the diagnosis and seeing, you know, maybe you have a fuel, bad uh, fuel pressure regulator or something or another. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a, uh, you know, a rundown of what you're looking at if you have these codes and if this is your problem, um, I feel for you. So anyway, give it a thumbs up if it helps you out. I really appreciate that, guys. And uh, yeah, have a good day. KZ Guy 2, no nonsense, no how.